even the most open-minded people, you've been conditioned by the media to be afraid of people who have accents. And I can show you, I can say the same thing with or without a Middle Eastern accent. It can change the whole meaning. Why? If I go, hey, wait till Friday night. We've been planning this for months. People will be talking about this for years. It could be a party, right? If I go, wait till Friday night. We've been planning this for months. People will be talking about this for years. Scary, right? But, uh, you know, I went, I went over there after 9-11, and, and I was visiting a cousin in Amman, Jordan, right? And I'm driving around with my cousin, who's like, all bitching and moaning about America, right? You son of a bitch, America. <laughs> America, think you're so strong, so powerful, so big and strong. And Arabs love to cuss in English. They cuss their heads off in English. They won't do it in Arabic, because then God could hear them, you know? <laughs> You know, I'm, I'm 30 years old and I'm single, right? Which is not a big deal because, like I said, it's like sex in the city, woo, I'm so cool. Um, here, here is the problem. In Arab years, I am actually 67. My poor parents, I, I love them to death, uh, but ever since September 11th, they've been very self-conscious about people hurting them. So they've decided to camouflage their cars. My mom's car's got these bumper stickers on saying, God bless America and support our troops. <laughs> Driving around town screaming, I love Bush, I love Bush. My easy mom being a lesbian won't make any more America. One of the problems about being Egyptian is nobody knows anything about my culture. Right? I was like, boy, you don't look Egyptian. Why, because I'm not half naked, painted to a cave wall? <laughs> I know, what if I wrap myself in toilet paper, put curses on people, would that help? Actually, you know what, I have a better idea. Thank you so much for supporting the New York Arab American.